Hi guys, I hope you had an amazing, amazing Christmas, holidays, however you celebrate it. I hope your holidays was amazing. I feel like I haven't been on here <laughs> in eons because I think my last video that I had published was like, I think I filmed it like a week before or the weekend before Christmas. And I wasn't too sure how Christmas was going to go. And I wasn't too sure if Jay and I were going to go away. It has been an emotional roller coaster for me since October. And, um, you know, it's hard sometimes to keep everything together when your life is just throwing you all sorts of different curves. But anyways, I'm going to quickly just tell you a little bit about the holidays because Christmas was extra special for me. We were able to get my dad up to my sister's. I started to do a vlog on it and then I decided not to publish the vlog because, you know, my vlogs are just vlogs. You know, they're not all that terribly interesting to most people. So I decided not to, not to publish it, but Jay and I got my dad in the car and my mom and I in the back seat and my dad and Jay in the front seat and we drove up to my sister Heidi's and my dad had a wonderful day so I'm going to insert some photos here so you can see dad you can see the family and our annual tradition of our Christmas hat family photos and this year we had everyone except for my niece and her husband and her daughter because they moved to Florida so we had everyone else in the photos and it was just really, it was just really special. It was really special. My dad's not doing too well, but he really wanted to get up to Christmas and, and be there and enjoy it. And you can see from the photos, and this one particular photo shows my dad and my niece's baby son, who's going to be a year old soon. And it shows the difference in the generation, 90 years between the two of them. And it's just amazing. It was amazing. But anyways, Christmas was overall wonderful, wonderful. We came home, got my mom and dad settled at the house, came back, and our plans were to leave the very next day to go down to Newport, Rhode Island, and we did. We stayed in an Airbnb in Newport, Rhode Island, and we had friends with us. It was a three, rented a three bedroom Airbnb, and it's just one bath, can you believe it or not? But oh, thank God for poopery. <laughs> oh my gosh, I brought that, I showed them all how to use it, and it was really, even though one bath, we did really well. We did all the Newport mansions, I'll insert some pictures here, and then at one night, Jay and I walked around, this was the first night Jay and I walked around on our own, and the second night when they, when they arrived, we all went back down to Newport, and it was just beautiful. I mean, we just had, a beautiful weekend so as the pictures can tell I, we love Newport if you've never been it's a it's a sea a seaport and it's just beautiful because they have the mansions and you can read or hear all about them in the mansions some of the mansions are open and they're decked out for the holidays and some of them have decorations that were true to the time era um, that the mansions were being used so it was a wonderful weekend we came home Sunday and uh, my dad had gotten sick. So that was sort of a little dampener on Sunday, but all ended up well. He's he's holding his own, he's doing good, he's at home, and he, he's in good spirits. And then we had a snowstorm. And I wanted to get this published. I couldn't get it done for Sunday night. I don't really know if I'm gonna get it today, but I wanted to get this video up so you could see and I could share a couple of products with you. The first product I wanna share with you is this, and I was like thinking, how am I going to make, you know, how, how is this going to work? But this is the Irresistible Me Black Diamond Professional Hair Straightener. And this is from Irresistible Me. I've had a couple of other flat irons, some that was sent to me for review. And, and one of the things that I found difficult was the adjustments oftentimes were on the outside. And you would hit it when you would hold this. And next thing you knew, you were increasing the heat. This is all, you turn the power button on in the inside, you go up or down to the, it'll display here, whatever temperature, you go up and down to your desired temperature. It heats up, it holds it there. You've got this really nice barrel here and you can, it's, you can press here. It's got like little grips here. So you can go down 
if you want and this swirls really super super nice I really like it and I was able to kind of like straighten out my hair I've done it with extensions I've done it with my own hair I've done it with a topper and any any basically if you're looking at if you have a wig or or anything like that or the hair extensions if they're the human hair you, they're temperature friendly you can do this I this is really amazing no more getting stuck when your cords wrap up on you so this is a super cool device I really like it this was sent to me complimentary from Irresistible Me. I don't get paid to do this. I don't get a commission off of the sales or anything of that nature. If I did, I would disclose it, but I did get the product free and I have used it. I've used it for, oh gosh, four or five weeks now and I really like it. It's it's very comfortable in the hand. That's the most important thing. I didn't find it awkward to use and it does a great job on my hair extensions, on my hair. It does a really great job. And I love the fact that I can't accidentally hit the temperature control. No, that makes a big difference. So thank you so much. And this is on sale, by the way, guys, if you go to their website, Irresistible Me, I'll link it below. This is on sale. It's a really good buy, I believe. So I really love this. This worked great on my hair. And my daughter-in-law has curly hair. I'm gonna let her try it and see how it works on hers. I think it's gonna be beautiful. I've so. mentioned Julia before, and they had sent me a couple of pieces. They sent me this. Maybe you can see it. And the other one that they sent me is very, very much, looks like my wedding band. In fact, when I worn this, my mother, who is extremely fussy, has not been able to tell that I'm not wearing my wedding band. She's not been able to tell. So anyways, what I wanted to tell you is because I've had so many of you ask me, how am I liking it? How are they holding up? I will tell you that I think these have held up amazing. I've actually had these in water. I've washed my hands with them. I've worn them out. I take them on trips when I go away. And I leave my good jewelry at home and I have this with me. So while this was sent to me complimentary, I have to tell you they've held up really well. And that's the question that many of you have asked. How have they held up? Uh, and it's been, it's been a couple of months. So to me, they've, they're just absolutely beautiful. Now I kind of feel sort of like a thing. Oh my gosh, she's showing all these things that she received in the mail, but I did. I got a PR package. Now, many of you know I like Jen Amber's product. I have used her derma rollers in the past, They're her Aqua Stamp. Well, I got this in the mail, and she sent me a couple of more of the eye patches. I really like these eye patches. Have any of you tried her eye patches? They're really good. And I use her um, Coffee Gamage all the time on my face. I use a lot of her products. Anyways, I haven't even opened this up yet. So, I should have opened it. I get two derma rollers and I am going to derma roll my scalp again. I haven't derma rolled my scalp in quite a while and I used to derma roll my scalp all the time. Her derma rollers are medical grade needles and I think there is a big difference between a medical grade, uh, ooh, what is this? She masks. You guys know I love those masks. Oh sheet masks. Oh yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Ah. So sheet masks. Oh wow. I love sheet masks. I have been using her eye masks and what I've been doing with these Sometimes I put them on my 11s, actually. I know that sounds weird. And sometimes I put it on my deep, whatchamacallit, lines here. Marinette lines? I don't know. And then other times I go right down here. I, I have a lot of loose, flabby skin under my eyes, so I don't like to really pull too much on that. So I use this in other spots. And then sheet mask. I'm a sheet mask queen. I love these. Thank you so much, Jen. 
I will tell you exactly how I like them and I will also let you know exactly what my process is going to be. I have to find out what this is because I think the one I want is the 0.75 for my hair and I don't know whether or not this is the 25 and this is the 75. So I'm going to start doing, I'm going to start derma rolling my scalp. I'm probably going to do it once, once or twice a month at this point in time. I'm really not too sure, but yeah, thank you so much, Jen. And then I also got a gift in the mail. I got several gifts in the mail from Christine from the UK. She sent me some number seven. I've not tried this number seven. And at the time that she had reached out to me about this, it wasn't, we didn't have this in the states i don't know if it's in the states now or not but hydro luminous moisturizing foundation this is in the color wheat that's the color i wear it's an spf 15 it's a medium coverage and it's suitable for sensitive skin she also sent the primer and so i have the foundation and then she sent the this i think is cool little shadow so I haven't used any of it yet, but I will use it. So I was, I thought that was an amazing, amazing gift. I really, really like that. I've also received gifts from Sheila and from Marlene Fab and Glam. And I know I've shown those in the past, but I will tell you that I've gotten a lot more daring with my eyeshadow than I ever have in the past. I actually went out and I bought myself a, a um, Urban Decay Naked 3. Now, I had the original Smokey from eons ago, but some of you remember when I first tried to put it on, I was like, I, I looked horrible, I looked like a clown. I just couldn't make it work. It was too pigmented. And over the course of these last two years, my skills have improved slightly, not a whole lot. So now I'm using that palette and I actually love it. I'm thinking, wow. So on my eyes today, it's a combination of the Urban Decay Smokey and the Urban Decay Naked like I said, when I first started to use the Smokey, I just could not make it work. It was too dark. It was too pigmented. Now I'm like, oh, I need to have a darker shade than this has. Now, th these shades are beautiful. They're right up my alley. This was highly recommended by Marlene Fab and Glam. But the darker shade in here is now at the stage I'm at not dark enough. So I did a combination of the Smokey and the Urban Decay 3. So I did that. But most days during the week, I've been, I've been using this palette from Too Faced during the week. It's given me a good combination of different colors that I really, really like. So I've been using that during the week and I'm thinking to myself, you're becoming a palette addict because I'm looking at it and I'm like going, oh my gosh, I have all these palettes. Like holy mackerel. This is adorable. This was also a gift. This was from Sheila. And this is the one that I bought that. I love these colors. I know I've shown these colors before. So I'm thinking, well, if I go away, I, you know what I like a lot about these is, is I really, really like the blues and the purples a lot. And I also think the presentation is super pretty. I think this is a sexy looking palette. So anyways, guys, um, I just wanted to share those. Oh, and because I am trying a new foundation. I actually talked about this on my Insta story a lot. And um, so this new foundation, Peach Perfect. Peach Perfect. This is from Too Faced. Now, it isn't Born This Way. I think Born This Way is the next foundation I'm going to get. But I actually got this, and I actually got this in, I think it's called warm beige it comes out looking a little bit more oh you're not going to be able to see it it comes out looking a little bit more yellowish when i first put it on my skin but then i kind of it blended in and it doesn't look yellow at all and that's what the foundation i have on today so on my skin is my Too faced peach perfect and on my eyes is everything Urban Decay. And I think on my eyes, the only eyeliner I have is a Sephora gel liner. So I really like that a lot. So I think that's a scoop. Anyways, guys, please, 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 I hope you all have a safe and wonderful New Year's. It is snowing here. In Happy New Year. Hi, honey. Hey. Hey. Did you like that blonde wig I showed you a little bit ago? Yeah, it kind of grown on me. 
anyways, you guys all have a very safe New Year's, and I hope you all have the most amazing 2020. I wish you health, happiness, prosperity, but obviously the most important thing is health, and same for all your loved ones. So thank you all so much for being so supportive throughout the year. I don't know what I would do without you guys watching because why would I be making videos if nobody was watching? So thank you, thank you. And thank you, Irresistible Me, for sending me this flat iron. Really easy to use. And Jen Amber for all these awesome, awesome face masks. Dermarola. Oh, yes. I'm going to be starting that whole thing over and I'm going to share my journey with you. So 2020, back to derma rolling the scalp, because I think it made a difference when I was consistently doing it. And I kind of fell off the, the wagon. I also fell off, fell off the wagon diet-wise, too, getting back on that wagon. <laughs> Bye, guys.